Hey everybody, my name is Matthew Sambanis. I'm a certified public accountant. My firm is based in Long Island, New York. And in today's video, we are gonna discuss the last five months. And the reason we're gonna discuss the last five months is, as I just mentioned, I'm an accountant. And pretty much from January through April, uh, I was absolutely crushed with work. I thought I would be able to continue to do YouTube videos. Up until January, I was doing about one to two a week, sometimes a little less, sometimes a little more. And unfortunately, tax season hit and doing 20 hour days, there's just it's not, it wasn't humanly possible for me to continue to do YouTube videos. And um, unfortunately, once April 15th hits, you say, hey, I need to get through the rest of the month. So then along came May. And um, unfortunately, we had some sad stuff happen in the family. So that set me back a little further. But needless to say, it's now May uh, 17th, I believe. And in today's video, we're going to get back to discussing what uh, I was just saying, which is if you told me how bad it was going to get in a matter of five months, I would have said, basically, <laughs> that's impossible. Um, but things, you know, have just been on a downward spiral, unless you're invested in the stock market, uh, then things have been pretty good for you. And if you bought gold and silver, like I said to do or suggested doing in a lot of my past videos, which I continue to do and bought gold and silver stocks, which is what I also suggested to do, you would be doing, uh, you'd be relatively happy or at least happier than, you know, getting absolutely decimated and crushed by inflation. By the way, if you like economics, finance, the economy, how to make money, how to save money, earn more money, and things of that nature, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It means the world to me, and it lets me know that I'm helping people. So if anything in here is good, let me know. If anything is bad, let me know. And if you want me to share or do a video on anything in particular, let me know. And um, you know, along the way, I started doing saving articles to prepare for videos, and I was hoping to just kind of consolidate everything into one video today and bring up the last five months, but I can't. <laughs> There's so much happening and so much bad stuff and so many reports of inflation uh, and now stagflation that we can't do it. So that means we have a lot more content for a lot more videos. Anyway, out of control inflation. It now takes at least 178000 for a family of four to live comfortably in the U.S. So... If you're in Long Island, New York, like I am, or if you're in California, if you're in some parts of Texas, I'm sure, Florida, uh, Massachusetts, definitely up there on the list. It's very expensive to live versus in some of the less economically uh, fortunate states, but, uh, you know, or I guess not, right? I mean, if it co the cost of living there is better, then that's what you want. And what is that a, an effect of? Deflation. So I don't know why the Federal Reserve wants 2% inflation. It's absolutely the stupidest thing. And we're going to hopefully get into that a little bit. I'm going to go for as long as I can. That is part of my pile of papers to go through, um, which is right there. And uh, it would probably be like three times as big if I printed out everything that I want to print out. So, yeah, I mean, listen, you make 170000 you turn around, you know, out of that, probably 50,000 goes to taxes. So you have 120,000 left over. Uh, upper middle class, I'm sure your mortgage is at least 3,000 a month, probably more now, especially if you bought a house in the last year. Then you have property taxes, you have food, you have two kids to support, you have school, you have, you know, you have to save for a retirement. Everything adds up um, and everything's gone through the roof. Um, so unfortunately, yeah, you need to make a lot of money and that lot of money is no longer a lot of money. You know, 100,000 used to be a lot of money back in the day. Now that's just standard middle class, um, especially depending on the state that you're in. And I say that with all due respect, it's not meant to be offensive. Uh, I'm just stating the facts as I see it. And maybe I'm on a little bit of a bubble because I'm on Long Island. So, you know, I don't leave her very <laughs> often either, but basically... Um, yeah, you know, a hundred thousand, what used to be a hundred thousand is now the new 200,000. The new, uh, $1 is now $10, you know, inflation, the cost of living and the quality of life has gone down substantially. And speaking of inflation check, um, Doctors making 350,000 per year can't find homes on Long Island as prices surge 50%. 
So I bought my house in 2017. It was a whopping $370,000, which is a lot of money. My property taxes are about 10,000. I must say I'm very grateful. I do have the best property taxes in the neighborhood. It's now worth eight or 900,000. You know, if I did the math, if I extrapolate that out seven years later, uh, an almost, you know, 150% increase to 200%, that's way more than 2% inflation, right? And what's the cause of that? Uh, lack of supply, um, obviously, you know, and now it's a lack of supply because interest rates are too high, but they're not so high that they're forcing prices to come down that people actually have to co- cut the cost for the selling price. Um, also, New York, you know, due to COVID, they suspended foreclosures for a while and other things of that nature, which created a backup and, you know, People are going to be getting foreclosed on over a very long time, two, three years, years, sometimes longer, because frankly, we have a corrupt or a ineffective, stupid <laughs> court system uh, that favor that favors people who, you know, need to get evicted. And uh, that never mind squatters. That would be another video for another day. And just touching real quick on inflation or well we're gonna touch a lot on that but stamp prices rise by eight percent for the second time in four months right so what is that four months times three that's eight percent that's eight sixteen twenty four so you know the government aims for quote two percent inflation the stamps alone have gone up twenty four percent why can't they put two and two together And it's because they're all, not all, but most of them are overpaid knuckleheads that are unqualified and have no business doing anything, especially running the U.S. government. Supermarket scramble, food spending's share of disposable income hits level, highest level in three decades, right? So again, I've just accepted now when I go to Carvel for a large, it's $8. Uh, I rarely go. Sometimes my girlfriend wants to go and we go and it's just being... I know I'm getting ripped off. We go out to eat two burgers and some French fries. It's now $50. I'm literally, you know, A, I've accepted it, but B, I'm just violently disgusted and sick and tired of being ripped off. Uh, So much so that yesterday she said, hey, I want to go for a burger. And I said, all right, well, listen, we have one of two choices. Either we go, we spend $50 and we eat out and we get, you know, a meal and some leftovers out of it at best, or we can go to... Uh, the supermarket in particular, we like Trader Joe's and get five bags of food for about a hundred dollars and get a few meals out of it. And that's what we ended up doing. Uh, do we have the money to go out and buy whatever and eat wherever? Yes, but it's just the point. It's the principle. And in the last few months, in particular, Starbucks earnings reports, people are sick of it. You know, a caramel frappuccino is now five, six, seven dollars. I mean, it's literally coffee, whipped cream, caramel. And Howard Schultz thinks it's they need to revamp the stores. No, they need to lower their prices and stop ripping people off. And on the flip side of that, listen, their cost of labor has gone up because of inflation. The cost of their products gone up because of inflation, you know, and so they're also getting it as well. And where does all this inflation come from? The Federal Reserve and the government printing money. We have too much government. We have too much money that's being printed. And it was great when it was only going into assets, into the stock market and into people's housing, um, house assets. But that's no longer the case. Now it's gone into the cost of everyday living. Um You know, thankfully, some things are coming down, but it's still not making a big difference. The core products that people use every day are absolutely through the roof. Um, As I just mentioned, you know, supermarket scrambles, foods, you know, spending share of disposable income hits highest level in three decades. And, you know, what's absolutely mind blowing, and it's not that mind blowing when you put everything in context, context. 15 million Americans, including those making more than 100,000, buy groceries with buy now, pay later apps as inflation rages. So credit card debt is at an all-time high, unfortunately. It's going to continue to get worse. The credit card companies, when they allow or extend credit, is another cause of inflation, right? You're making more money available. You're printing it, in effect, or they're creating it through thin air. But people need their credit cards to live and to survive, and it's sad And I guess maybe using buy now, pay later is more 
easy than using a credit card? I don't know. Please leave a comment below. Let me know if it's easier to use buy now, pay later than with a, than using a credit card. Um, I don't have it, but 15 million people or 6.5% of the U.S. population uses use, reported using buy now, pay later for groceries last year. Um, the Federal Reserve Bank of New York published research which found that people with a credit score under 620 were nearly three times as likely as, as financially stable consumers to use buy now, pay later five or more times last year. And, you know, basically buy now, pay later is a point of sale installment loan, um, which if you don't pay it on time, I understand that you just get absolutely crushed. Uh, but it's being offered by major retailers at checkout, such as Walmart, Amazon, and Trader Joe's. Um, I guess the benefit for these companies is that increases their sales and they don't have the risk of not being paid. But basically, after pay reported, there was a 465% increase of buy now, pay later purchase of contact lenses last year compared to 2022 as well as a 182% increase in the use of buy now, pay later for garbage bags. I mean, I don't know, what is that, $5, 10 15 $20? I, I mean, how do you, why would you use that? I mean, wouldn't you just use your debit card or a credit card or something? So if you know more than me, then please enlighten me. Move it along to our <laughs> favorite idiot, or I meant person, I'm sorry, federal chair, Jerome Powell says inflation has been higher than thought, expects rate expects rates to hold steady. I, I, again, this guy needs to get fired. They probably should do away with the Federal Reserve. Government has no business setting the interest rates, right? It should be by, set by the market, supply and demand, basic Austrian economics. Of course, we don't have that here in America. We have almost a banana republic at this point. Fed Chair Jerome Powell reiterated Tuesday that inflation has fallen more slowly than expected, likely keeping interest rates elevated for an extended period of time. Okay, so let's go through that. Prices are falling because they raised interest rates. If you want prices to fall more, you need to raise interest rates more. But if you don't, inflation is going to continue. Now they're saying that we have some deflation or that inflation is, quote, subsided, but the fact of the matter is it has not. It's just not as high as it was a year ago. So a year ago, let's say it was 3.2%, but now it's 2.2%. So when you go to the supermarket, you know, if the TV was originally, call it two years ago, uh, $100, you know, and now, and then a year ago, it was $103, and now another 2% on top of that would be whatever, $104, you're still paying more, right? And what we want is deflation. Do you want to pay $100 for a TV, or do you want to pay $50 for a TV? And so as to why they have this, I don't know. I guess it keeps the stock market going up, and the rich people keep on getting richer. Um. And then he goes on to say, we did not expect this to be a smooth road, but these inflation readings were higher than I think anybody expected. Uh, no, uh, I was saying five, six, seven, eight, nine months ago, probably even a year ago when I first started doing this, that inflation is going to continue to get worse. And that's exactly what's happened. Um, inflation outlook rises fueled by expected increases for housing costs. New York Fed survey shows so again, they want 2% inflation, but we need deflation, right? Uh, before COVID hit, I used to get a bag of insulation for $30. It's now $80. Uh, you, you, I, I can't make sense of that. If you can, leave a comment below. I'm not even going to go any further into it. High rent costs are making it harder for the Fed to beat back inflation. So even though we have now some... In, Inflation isn't raging as much as it was, it's still up there. And, you know, the important stuff like food and the cost of living and rent has gone up 5%, right? So, uh, you know, housing inflation, which reached a peak of 8.2% a year ago, fell to 5.6% in March, which is still too high to allow the Fed to cut its benchmark interest rate. 
So again, the issue there is it's still going up. It's just not going up as much as it was. Um, you know, we need deflation. We need, do you want to pay 1000 a month to rent or do you want to pay 500 Do you want to pay, uh, you know, it's basic economics. I just, you know, I'm just disgusted by how stupid these people are in charge. And you know what? I, I could keep on going through all these articles. It's going to take not too long, but... Yeah, you know, I like to keep these videos to a minimum. I'll film a follow-up video for sure. But the bottom line is, unfortunately, inflation is going to continue to get worse. The cost of living is going to continue to go up. Quality of living is going to go down. Shrinkflation is going to increase. And I hate to be a bummer and all that other stuff, but how do you profit, right? Buy gold, buy silver, buy gold stocks, buy silver stocks. Uh, save your money. Don't have debt. Get rid of your debt as fast as possible. You know, uh, buy foreign currencies. These are all suggestions, just ideas, just stuff that I've either done, have been doing, have continued to do, will continue to do, or have thought about doing. Um, buy foreign stocks. You know, personally, I've loaded up on Anon Holdings, or well, the ticker is O N O N, the new shoe company. Uh, it's been growing like wildfire. I bought it at 30 bucks. Last I checked, it was at about 38 bucks. Uh, that's a home run. N U Holdings, a South American bank. I uh, love the company. It's been doing great stuff for me. I started buying that $4. It's at $11. Um, I'm not going to go through the silver stocks and the gold stocks. We could do that on another, on another day if you'd like. Um, but basically, you know, pre-buy stuff. You know, if you know you're going to buy a bunch of garbage bags or, you know, if you go into my basement, you'll see I have ample amounts of toilet paper, ample amounts of uh, tissues, ample amounts of paper towels and things of that nature. And save every month, you know, save every which way you can and do the next right thing. So hopefully you found this helpful. If you want to go on to anything else, just let me know and I'll see you soon. Have a great day. Thanks.